Hey guys, what's going on? Insidious Swede back again here for another YouTube video, and we're finally here with my fifth manga collection video. Today I'm going to be showing off my collection in its entirety, 1600 volumes in total. And now if you guys did watch my last manga collection video, you may be wondering, well, if you've only gotten 100 new volumes since January 1st, why are you making a second one? Because 100 volumes in the scheme of things isn't a ton of change. Well, actually about four, four and a half months ago, I actually sold 200 volumes out of my collection because I was starting to get rid of manga that I no longer wanted and the number happened to be right around 200 volumes. So technically, since January 1st, I've added uh, 300 new volumes to the collection and I've taken out 200. So the collection does look a lot different than it did uh, six months ago. Also, I'd like to point out that One Piece is in my collection for those of you who haven't seen prior collection videos. I do own the first 76 volumes of One Piece, but they're kind of in a weird spot. It's really hard to get to them, so I figured instead of uh, just not mentioning them at all, I'd bring it up here first to let you know that I do have the first 76 volumes, just I'm not going to be able to show off all of those on camera, but I'm sure most of you know what they look like, so that's not too big of a deal, but I figured I'd bring it up really quick before we get into the collection. And finally, uh, just once again, thank you so much to all of my subscribers. I can't believe how close I'm getting to 10,000 of you, which is an insane number for someone like me. When I started this channel four years ago, I was never expecting this kind of overwhelming you know, support and positivity and just a great community here. So thank you so much. Uh, thank you to the new subscribers who are joining my channel now and over the past couple of months. And then again, a special thanks to all of you who've stuck with me over the years. So thank you again so much for all of all of the ways you've supported me, whether it be by likes, comments, and then also Patreon more recently. All of it means so much to me. But uh, anyways, guys, let's get on with the video. All right, so the first shelf we're going to be going over is my... Uh, Birch um, Billy shelf from Ikea. This is of course the one that I do all the filming on. Let's start up top. Not too much change here from my last collection video, but at the very top we have Inio Asano's Nijigahara Holograph, Volume 1 of Blam by Sutomu Nihei, uh, the complete volume of Nichi F, the one volume series, and then Volume 1 of Osamu Tezuka's Blackjack, which is a manga series that I've been meaning to get into for a while, and I just haven't found the time yet for that one. Moving down, we have the variant cover for Volume 1 of Noragami. Uh, I believe this was, yep, a Loot Crate exclusive. Big fan of Noragami, so really glad to have that. Uh, behind that volume, we have the first three and the really only obtainable omnibuses for Battle Royale. Really glad to have these in the collection. Just uh, wish I could get them in another format. Uh, besides, of course, the um, also out of print single volumes. Next up, we have Mobile Suit Gundam The Origin. Um, easily the highest quality volume you're ever going to find for manga. These things are immaculate. Um, a bit pricey, but uh, definitely worth it considering they're on photocopy paper. Volumes 1 all the way to 8. Definitely want to complete this very soon. Next up, we have Volume 1 of Mobile Suit Gundam Thunderbolt. After that, we have Gaio by Junji Ito, a really great horror series, definitely my favorite work from him. I um, also had Uzumaki, which I no longer have. I want to pick up the hardcover for that as well, but really enjoyed this story from him. Uh, next up, we have Yoshihiro Tetsumi's A Drifting Life. Uh, this is a really fun kind of autobiography, um, and it just really captivated me. Really great stories in here, just a lot of fun to read that. And then after that, we have Volume 1, uh, Showa, A History of Japan. Um, this is from the years 1926 to 1939. Kind of like a historical manga where it looks at, uh, you know, pre-World War II here and then into World War II with the um, volumes that come after this. So kind of a nice addition there. Definitely want to get more volumes for that. Next up, we have the complete Neon Genesis Evangelion in the amazing um, omnibuses here from Viz Media. Really great series. There are some moments in here that I thought were a bit um, underwhelming, but overall, 
it's a very, very strong manga series. And then uh, a newer addition to the collection, this is the um, erased hardcover from Yen Press. If you can afford them, it's a nice addition to the collection, another um, really high quality volume. So uh, nice to have that. Looking forward to getting volume two when it comes down in price. Next shelf here, a lot of great manga here. First up, we have The Ghost and the Lady, book one and two, the complete series. After that, we have A Bride's Story by Keor Keoru Mori, one and two. Then after that, we have Jojo. We have uh, part one here completed, and then uh, part two also completed, one to four. Uh, still working my way through battle tendencies so far. It's been a lot of fun, a lot better than part one, so looking forward to finishing that up soon. After that, we have by far the best manga I have ever read, Vinland Saga by Makoto Yukimura. I'm actually lending volume one to a friend right now, that's why you don't see it here, but if you haven't heard of Vinland Saga yet, please find a review. I've done two on my channel at this point. It's such an amazing series. It's by far the best manga that I've ever read. Definitely need to get that volume nine that came out recently. So just uh, an incredible title. Love the story. The characters are amazing. Beautiful artwork and put in these very high quality hardcovers from Kodansha. So overall, you cannot go wrong with Vinland Saga. Love this manga to death. Then after that, we have another masterpiece, Monster, volumes one to nine in the perfect edition. So really glad to have this series completed and finally read through another brilliant series. For me, this is one, and this is probably number two in terms of my favorite manga of all time. Coming down, we have the filming shelf. So a lot of you have already seen these manga before, but first up we have Pluto, one to eight complete series. After that, we have Inuyashiki, one to six by Hiroya Oku, a really good series by him as well. After that, we have Happiness, one to four, a newer title that I'm reading. Um, speaking of newer titles, we have Delicious in Dungeon, volume one right here. After that, we have another Nihei work, Biomega 1 to 4. This is a six volume series, so I'm missing the last two to complete that. After that, we have Blade of the Immortal Omnibuses 1 and 2. A really good high quality books put out by Dark Horse. Really nice re-release of an amazing title. I just wish that uh, they were coming out a bit more frequently because by the way it's going right now, it's gonna be years. And I do mean years until the series completely comes out in these in these omnibus forms. So um, after that, we have Planet Tests by Makoto Yukimura, another really strong work from him as well, but does not compare, of course, to Villain Saga, but still a very strong work and completed in just these two volumes. And then, of course, after that, we have Tokyo Ghoul 1 to 13. All right, let's move down. Next up, we have Real 1 to 13 by Takehiko Inoue, Master Keaton 1 to 6, another really interesting title by uh, uh, Naoki Urasawa. Uh, Topu GP. Uh, this series was oh, okay, nothing special so far. After that, we have Cells at Work 1 to 4. Really amazing, fun concept. It's about anthropomorphic cells inside the body. If you ever saw the cartoon series Osmosis Jones, or was it a film? I think it was a film with uh, Bill Murray as well. Uh, you'll definitely enjoy Cells at Work, although it's done 10 times better. After that, we have Barake Mon 1 to 13, and then Gangsta 1 to 4 to finish off this shelf. Next up, we have Fruits Basket 1 and 2. Definitely a manga I need to get more of. Ubel Blatt Volumes 0 and 1. You know, this is a title that I had a lot of high hopes going into. And it wasn't terrible what I read so far of it, but I doubt I'll be getting any more of Ubel Blatt, unfortunately. After that, we have Until Death Do Us Part, another manga that I got a long time ago that I'm still needing to get into. I've heard amazing things about it, so definitely looking forward to reading that one. After that, we have Yoamushi Petal 1 and 2. The manga's good. I've read these two volumes. It's a good series, but if you want the superior version, definitely check out the anime, and I don't say that often. Nine times out of ten, I'm going to recommend the manga, but the anime for Yoamushi Petal is just so phenomenal that I'd say definitely watch that and then if you're enough of a fan uh, go back to the manga as well after that we have Ultraman 1 to 5 
uh, Steins Gate 1 and 2. Another kind of deal where I love the anime, so I decided to get the manga, but the anime is, of course, the better version. Uh, Welcome to the Ballroom 1 and 2, Golden Kamui Volume 1. Another new series that I'm looking forward to uh, getting into very soon. Uh, very high on my to-read list. Black Lagoon Volume 1. Dogs, Bullets, and Carnage Volumes 0 to 3. Love at 14, this is a manga that I uh, tried to sell and my best offer was like five bucks, so I'm still hanging on to it. Maybe I'll go and get volume two, see what that one's all about, but overall, it's a very mediocre romance title in my opinion. Ikigami, The Ultimate Limit, one to four, another title I wanna get more of, really great concept, very underrated title in my opinion. Uh, and here's one of the few manhwa I have, Korean manga by uh, Dark Horse. This is Shaman Warrior 1 and 9, uh, a complete series. Really, really good. Unfortunately, um, when I got this about a year ago, it was still in print. Now it's going to be very hard to find the volumes, but if you can, it's worth your time. Uh, beautiful artwork in here, if I can find some good examples. Uh, just really well um, written, amazing artwork to go along with the story, and just a phenomenal title all the way around. So definitely check out Shaman Warrior if you can, but again, it's, uh, it's going to be hard to find considering a lot of the volumes are uh, getting more and more expensive. All right, below that we have Message to Adolf, part one and two complete series by Osamu Tezuka. After that we have the Persona 4 manga, adaptation one to three. Uh, Children of the Sea Volumes 1 and 2, another manga I want to get more volumes of to complete that. Uh, Terraform Mars Volumes 1 to 6. I haven't bought a volume of Terraform Mars in over two years. It's just okay. It's not bad enough to sell because I only have the first six. Maybe one day I'll go back to it, but overall I haven't loved it as much as a lot of other people, but it's still pretty good. It's just one that I've honestly forgotten about for a long time and then the final series on this shelf is 20th century boys volumes 1 to 20 amazing title of what i've read of it so far it's a series that i am you know very bad at finishing it's been a manga that i've been uh, reading on and off for about a year so i want to correct that soon because so far what i've read of it it's been fantastic it's just very heavy and deep and uh, I haven't had a ton of time to read manga like that, but 20th Century Boys has been fantastic so far. And that is the first shelf of the collection. Let me go back over it one more time, kind of slow. And uh, let me hop over to the next one. All right, so here we are on the second shelf right next to the first one as you can see right here but before i get to the books on the actual shelving unit let's start up at the top where i have my three box sets first up we have claymore complete series volumes 1 to 27 full metal alchemist complete series volumes 1 to 27 amazing series by the way and then pre shippuden naruto also volumes 1 to 27 and in my opinion probably the best of naruto but just really three box sets that i'm very proud to have in the collection three series that are all very good in their own right and uh nice display pieces as well with the uh the box art and whatnot but let's move down to the actual shelf start over here on the top left First up, we have another Junji Ito work. This is Dissolving Classroom. A, uh, a newer release um, for, for Vertical. This came out back in January. After that, we have The Rising of the Shield Hero, the manga adaptation, volumes 1 to 6. The Flowers of Evil, volumes 1 to 11, complete manga here. Witchcraft Works, volumes 1 to 8. This series took me by surprise. I had no idea what it was going into it, but after reading the first couple volumes, I fell in love. Really fun title, a lot of good comedy, great story to go along with it. So overall, very, very good uh, title here. After that, we have Flying Witch, a newer title in my collection. After that, we have Devil's Line 1 to 7, another really good title out there if you're a fan of romance plus like action and drama and whatnot. Uh, then we, after that, we have Ajin Demi Human 1 to 9, uh, To the Abandoned Sacred Beasts 1 to 4, another underrated title in my opinion, really great concept, a lot of fun, amazing artwork overall, kind of the complete package in my opinion. It's not going to be one of the best manga series of all time, but it's definitely a really good title. Prophecy 1-3, to this is a complete manga. Overall, it was pretty just average. 
I liked the ending and the twists that, you know, led up to that, but overall, it's nothing that's going to blow you away, but very strong title and also pretty short if you're not looking for a long commitment. After that, we have Knights of Sidonia, Volumes 1 to 15, complete series. Really glad to have that completed. I just wish the uh, the spines were a bit more even. You kind of have the, the red, then the white, then the off shade of red, then like white for four volumes, then again. I don't know what was going on with that, but overall, it's a great manga, so I can look past the, uh, the shaky spines. But uh, next up, speaking of amazing series that are short, no longer human. I know these volumes are not easy to get, but uh, it's, oh my God, this series is so good. It's one of those kinds of manga series that after you finish it, you're gonna spend the next day like just trying to process what you just saw and read and experienced. But overall, amazing manga. Even if you can't find the physical copies, I would recommend reading this some way because it's worth a read, it's fantastic. After that, we have Immortal Hounds 1 to 3. Nietzsche Jew, My Ordinary Life, uh, kind of a fun comedy slice of life title. Not as good as stuff like Barakeman or Yotsuba, but overall, it's a pretty decent series. Uh, after that, we have The Girl from the Other Side 1 and 2. Tokyo ESP Volume 1. Uh, this is a title that I, I got on a whim and have still yet to check it out, but uh, I've heard good things about it, so we'll, uh, we'll give it a shot soon. Mysterious Girlfriend X 1 and 2. And then after that, we have A Certain Scientific Railgun Volumes 1 and 2. All right, let's move over here, back to the other side. First up, we have The Ancient Magus Bride 1 to 6. Hours of the Zombie, or Hour of the Zombie, excuse me. Kind of a fun zombie title. Um, there's better ones coming up as you'll see, but overall it's actually surprisingly decent with uh, a pretty compelling plot and storyline. So uh, I'd recommend it if you're a fan of zombie series. After that, we have Mushoku Tensei. Uh, this manga for me started off strong. I like the beginning of it, but since then it's been a little bit weak and uh, it's kind of uh, lost my interest, but uh, still a fairly decent title. After that, we have Tomodachi X Monster, a complete three volume title. Uh, this is a dark parody of Pokemon. So if you're a fan of Pokemon like I am, definitely check out Tomodachi X Monster. After that, we have My Pathetic Vampire Life. This was a fun read, I'll be honest. I laughed a lot. There's a lot of dry humor in it. Uh, interesting protagonist as well. Um, not going to be, again, one of those titles that's going to be your favorite of all time, but if you can afford it, just kind of a fun series to read. Uh, definitely want to get more of My Pathetic Vampire Life. After that, we have Orange 1 and 2. This is a manga I started a while ago and still need to finish, but uh, so far of what I've read, it's been really good. Uh, Lucifer and the Biscuit Hammer, another manga that I, I tried to start, couldn't really get into it, but I've heard so many good things about it. I've heard that it picks up later on, so I'll give it at least um, the first two volumes because this is a two-in-one, and then from there, I'll decide if I want to get any more or not. Uh, speaking of zombie series, though, I Am a Hero is the way to go. Really, really great title. Uh, thank you, Dark Horse. I've never said that before, I don't think. But uh, thank you, Dark Horse, for putting out I Am a Hero because it truly is one of the best manga I've read. Maybe not top 10, but it's definitely really good. Amazing story. Uh, some of the best artwork you're gonna ever see in a manga series, so you cannot go wrong with I Am a Hero. Again, the only downside is the release dates. It's gonna take forever. Uh, for this manga to completely release in English, but um, I can look past that, and um, so far it's just been so fantastic. After that, we have Chobits, the complete series in the two Dark Horse Omnibuses. After that, we have Lone Wolf and Cub, one to three. Again, also in the Dark Horse Omnibuses, and then continuing along with that, the Kurosagi Corpse Delivery Service, volumes one and two. I have actually finished volume one here, uh, interesting series. I can't say that I, I loved it, but uh, I do have volume two here, so I'll definitely give that one a read. And then from there, also, of course, decide if I want to uh, complete the manga. Um, after that, we have Giganto Maxia, the only other um, Kentaro Miro work besides Japan and Berserk to get an English release. Um, kind of another fun one volume title. 
if you've um, read Japan by, by uh, Kentaro Miura, I think you'd like this as well. Just kind of a, a fun short series with amazing Miura artwork that uh, unfortunately isn't berserk, but still a fun read. And then to finish off this shelf, we have Black Bullet 1 and 2. So that is the second shelf. Moving down to actually my Japanese manga here. We have uh, Kingdom 1 to 5. Uh, these spines and volume artwork is just, it's such an amazing, um, you know, piece of artwork, honestly. Especially this cover, I love this one to death. I'm praying that one day we see an English release of this manga, but I would not hold my breath, it's unlikely. Especially because it hasn't happened yet, I'd imagine if it was ever going to happen, it would have, but um, I'm gonna hold out hope, hopefully one day we'll see Viz or somebody pick it up. After that, we have another amazing manga that doesn't have an English release, Enrikudo. Brutal boxing manga, amazing characterization with our main character, Riku. Another uh, series with a lot of very high quality artwork and just a lot of fun here. Um, also, a surprising amount of like lo uh, romance in here. I don't really know where that's headed, but uh, it's a nice addition to a brutal series. It really kind of balances it out. But uh, yeah, Rikudo, if you can read it online, definitely check it out. It's fantastic. After that, we have Tokyo Ghoul Re Volume 1. We have the Tokyo Ghoul Zaki art book. Really nice addition there, kind of a, a small volume size art book. Uh, here's a newer pickup, Jagan Volume 1. This series has been amazing so far. Another manga that I really enjoy that we haven't seen an English release of it so far, but uh, definitely deserves it. Uh, Tapu Volume 1. Uh, here is the first five volumes of Holy Lands. Uh, then after that, here's an amazing uh, sports soccer manga, Giant Killing 1-8. to eight. Uh, this is the first volume of The Promised Neverland. And then after that, we have my favorite sports manga of all time, Hajime no Ippo, volumes 1 to 22. Yeah, we're never going to see it. Um, this, I can guarantee you, Hajime no Ippo is never going to get an English release, but it's so phenomenal. Uh, easily a top five favorite manga for myself. Just love the character. I love the length. It really does add a lot to the series. You know, uh, going into it, the length was daunting, but now that I'm really far into the series, hundreds and hundreds of volumes in, or chapters in, excuse me, I, uh, I hope it never ends. But uh, yeah, truly a masterpiece. Moving along, we have A Girl on the Shore. This is a manga I've had for a little while now. As you can see, it's uh, still in its shrink wrap. It's been a... Uh, the reason why is because I've heard so many messed up things about it. I just haven't uh, bothered giving it a shot yet, but I do have that. Uh, here's The God's Lie by Kaori Ozaki, really good one volume series. Uh, Tropic of the Sea, uh, volumes one to three of Wolfsmund. Uh, here's a, another good series. It's taking forever to come out in English, Drifters one and two. Uh, Danganronpa, this is based off of the video game. Pretty good read, surprisingly. Um, I'd recommend it if you're a fan of the games. Even if you're not though, it's still a pretty fun series based um, in school. Uh, one of those kinds of manga series. Uh, here's one that I literally had no idea going into it, but found the volumes for very cheap. Uh, junk Record of the Last Hero, pretty good. I'll be honest, I was surprised with uh, how much I enjoyed volume one of that. So I uh, definitely plan to pick up the rest of the manga eventually. Uh, Pokemon Adventures, this is the complete first uh, box set here, as you can see. Uh, volumes 1 to 7, pretty good title, but unfortunately, I don't think I'll be getting any more of it. Um, it just didn't wow me, and, uh, you know, I have enough Pokemon in my life, I don't need to, you know, read the manga series as well. Uh, Seventh Garden, Volume 1, Ninja Slayer Kills 1 and 2, and then Library Wars, which uh, I'll give it a shot one day, we'll see. All right, let's continue down here. Uh, almost done with this shelf. We have, of course, Berserk 1, 2, 34. Unfortunately, I do have the older versions now, so whenever I go to get 35, 36, and 37, uh, they're gonna be uh, you know, messed up with the spines, but of course, a phenomenal title, one of the best of all time. Uh, moving on past that, we have Color of Rage, just kind of like a, an interesting one volume title by Dark Horse um, that uh, I didn't love, I'll be honest, it was okay. Uh, here's Gantz, 
1 to 21. And then to finish off this shelf, we have uh, Vagabond in the Visbigs 1 to 12, covering the first 36 volumes of the title. I'm actually in the process of rereading the manga right now, as you can see here. I'm uh, back up to volume six, but uh, this manga probably right behind Vinland Saga and Monster for me as my third favorite of all time, but it's very close between all three of them. Amazing manga, the best artwork you're ever going to see. And then to finish off this shelf, we have my other Viz Bigs. We have Dragon Ball 1 to 5 uh, complete series. And then after that, we have Dragon Ball Z 1 to 9 to uh, close out this shelf. So let me stand up really quick and I uh, give you guys one more look at my manga for the second shelf of the collection. So here you go. And uh, let's hop over to the third shelf. All right, here we are on shelf three, and I guess shelf four considering it's right next to it. But uh, yeah, this is this is the bulk of the collection here, I'd say, on these two shelving units here. A lot of the Viz Media stuff and uh, the majority of my longer running series as well. But let's start up here on the top left-hand corner. Uh, nothing surprising here. Attack on Titan 1 to 21, One Punch Man 1 to 11. Of course, um, an absolute staple for any collection. And uh, speaking of staples here, Food Wars 1 to 18. Uh, the beginning was okay, but where it's at right now, where I'm reading it, it's been phenomenal. So really great series. After that, we have Haikyuu, really fun sports manga. Not my favorite, of course. And uh, I also prefer the anime to it, but uh, still a nice addition to the collection. After that, we have World Trigger 1 to 15. Black Clover 1 to 6, and then Noragami 1 to 17, and then Volume 18 um, is right here. Um, plus the uh, Stray Stories uh, side story book here. So that's my Noragami collection, and then of course I had the, uh, the variant cover behind me as well for uh, Volume 1. After that, we have Dead Man Wonderland Complete Series 1 to 13, kind of uh, behind in the uh, corner here, unfortunately. But that's a fun series. Not the best of all time, but very good. Living Stone 1 to 4, another very underrated title, in my opinion. A lot of fun with this manga. And only the four volumes, so pretty short as well if you're not looking for a long commitment. I don't think I'm going to be able to get this back in here. No, wait, there you go. Yeah, four volume title, uh, really, really great series. After that, we have Smoke and Parade, another series done by the same uh, person, Jensei Kataoka, that did Living Stone, and as well as Dead Man Wonderland, so kind of a nice, um, you know, line of uh, series by her there. After that, we have Forget Me Not, Volumes 1 and 2, and uh, hopefully I'm pronouncing this right, I've been told that I haven't, but uh, the case study of Vanitas or something like that, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, if you can see it right there, sorry for the darkness as well. I'm getting into the uh, corners uh, of the uh, of the room, but uh, yeah, I don't know. We'll give it a shot. It's been in the collection for a while now. I've just been reading so many other things. I haven't had time for it. Uh, is it wrong to try to pick up girls in a dungeon? One to six, amazing manga. I had uh, no idea how good it was going in, but uh, I love the series. Death, really fun um, title in my opinion. Overlord one and two, uh, Durarara volume one. Then uh, Dimension W 1 to 5 here. Uh, this is a newer book to the collection. In my last video, actually, I showed this off. Grimjar of Fantasy and Ash, Volume 1. Uh, Kaguru Daze 1 and 2 did not impress me, so I don't know if I'll ever get any more of Kaguru Daze, unfortunately. Here is School Live. Uh, not live, as I've been told. Um, School Live 1 and 2. Wow, volume one, quite good. So thank you to whoever recommended this to me. I can't remember now, but yeah, really great first volume here. And then after that, we have Bungo Stray Dogs. Weird title, but uh, I've heard a lot of good things about it. So looking forward to hopping into that. Also a very new addition to the collection. Uh, Twin Star Exorcists 1 to 7. So far, it's been an okay shonen manga, but I haven't loved it. And then Platinum End 1 and 2. Hopefully, it picks up with a team like Sugumi Oba and Takeshi Obata on it. I'm expecting greatness, and so far, I haven't been given that. But uh, I'm holding out hope. We'll see. After that, we have Magi 1 to 18. Batum 1 to 17, which is going to be wrapping up pretty soon at volume 23. So looking forward to finishing up this manga. Dragon Ball Super Volume 1. Uh, the anime is where it's at, but uh, I'm a big fan of Dragon Ball. So of course, I'm going to get the manga. 
My Hero Academia 1 to 8, and then A Silent Voice 1 to 7 complete. Truly a amazing series. A lot of heart, a lot of emotion, just uh, one of the best out there for sure. All right, let's come down right here. We have Bloodlead 1 to 8. Apparently, I was wrong. It concludes with Volume 9, so we still have one more volume to go. Uh, Big Order Volume 1. Uh, definitely a pass. It was very underwhelming. Uh, Parasite 1 to 8 complete manga. Truly one of the best series I've ever read. The anime was also fantastic, so definitely uh, check this one out, guys, if you like the anime and haven't seen the manga yet. Or if you haven't heard of this series yet, I'd go the manga route first and then uh, watch the anime if I were to give you guys an order to, uh, to experience the story, and I'd recommend that. After that, we have Kuroko's Basketball 1 to 10. I've already read this manga online before it ever got an English release, but now that it is, I'm definitely going to uh, support the industry and pick up the volumes as they come out, even though the 2-in-1s are not the best release out there. Uh, Yotsuba, 1 to 3, a lot of fun, amazing slice of life title, uh, just fun. Not, not a great story, there's no like overlying plots, but uh, if you're looking for a fun title to sit down and read and uh, not invest too much emotional energy into, you can definitely do that with Yotsuba. After that we have Switch 1 to 8, very unknown title by Viz, very old Viz title as well, and uh, surprisingly decent. Um, it's not going to blow you away. But uh, so far, it's been a fun read. Horimiya 1 to 3, and then Tagami Bachi Volume 1. All right, moving over. Here we have my complete Slam Dunk collection, Volumes 1 to 31. Uh, brilliant, brilliant series. Uh, easily one of the best basketball manga series out there. Well, I'd say the, yeah, the, yeah, the best, because Kroko's Basketball is no match for it, and uh, Real, his other work, although very good, I think I'd still give the edge to Slam Dunk, but uh, yeah, amazing title, glad to have the complete series. Uh, and then after that, we have Bleach, 1 to 22, then 23 to 69. Uh, again, for me, it's a love-hate with Bleach, a lot of nostalgia with it, a lot of disappointing arcs and whatnot, but overall, I still love the series. I mean, I'm never going to not love it because of, of how good it started off on and how much I care about the, the characters and whatnot. So although it's kind of fallen from grace for me, I still love the series. Uh, moving over, we have uh, Hikaru no Go. 1 to 23. This series is the definition of underrated. I am so glad to see a lot more people read the manga and buy the volumes recently based off of my recommendation for it and I'm so glad you guys have been enjoying it. It uh, truly is an amazing series and um, unfortunately it doesn't get the ending it deserves but it's still good enough to warrant buying and reading the manga in my opinion. And then after that, we have uh, Toriko 1 to 29, uh, and then 30 to 37 down there in the corner again. Uh, sorry for the lighting. Uh, after that, we have Bakuman 1 to 20, uh, Blue Exorcist 1 to 13, Behind the Scenes 1 and 2, Pandora Hearts 1 and 2, Sankarea Volumes 1 to 8, kind of my. Uh, I don't want to call it my castaway shelf, but Blue Exorcist is underwhelming. I've already read Bakuman. Uh, Pandora Hearts and Behind the Scenes are series that I haven't loved, and then Sankarea is a manga that was pretty decent, but uh, not an amazing title by any stretch of the imagination. After that, we have Miho and Roji's Bureau of Supernatural Investigation. Um, it's a fun title, I'll be honest, but I think I'm a bit too old for it. I just, I couldn't really get into it. Uh, the Seven Deadly Sins 1 to 10. Uh, Kimini Tadoke 1 to 4, School Judgment 1 to 3, another manga that I've had a hard time selling off, unfortunately. So for now, it's uh, still in the collection. Definitely pass. Even if you are a Takeshi, uh, Takeshi Obata fan, it's, it's just not worth it. Uh, my Little Monster Volume 1. And then here is my Hunter Hunter collection here. You can see 1 to 25, actually 26. Um, the bat volume's up here, as you can see. But uh, yeah, nice to have the series here. I do prefer the anime, and again, I do not say that often, but um, yeah, I still have to have the manga. I feel like it's a requirement uh, for any true manga collector, collector like myself. Uh, after that, we have Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, one to six, and these, these are actually backwards. Let me uh, fix that really quick. Uh, there we go, if you can fit in there, yeah. 
So Yu-Gi-Oh! was an amazing uh, series. Uh, I used to watch as a kid, so I wanted to get the manga and check it out, and I'm glad I did, because it's fun. It's a lot of fun, um, a lot of nostalgia for it as well, so nice to have that. And then uh, volume one of the Genshin Ken Omnibus. So yeah, those are uh, two of my main shelves here, a bulk of the collection. I have one more to get to, so let's hop over to that. All right, guys, final shelf. Uh, this is gonna be a long video. I know what, I haven't checked the time on it yet, but I'm assuming it's close to half an hour. But uh, yeah, let's get into it. Last up, here are a few books I don't really have a spot for at the moment. Inoue meets Gadi, uh, Sumi and Water, the two um, Takahiko Inoue art books I have, and then Guardians of the Louvre by Jiro Taniguchi. Uh, just four oversized titles that I don't really have a spot for at the moment, but uh, for now, I am, you know, just kind of placing them here. Going down, we have Saturn Apartments 1 to 7 complete series. Uh, here's part of my Asano collection. We have Goodnight Pun Pun 1 to 3, Salonin. Uh, complete series and then what a wonderful world one and two complete series uh, scum's wish volume one uh, this is sherlock um, a study in pink uh, surprisingly fun read um, all you need is kill complete series uh, death note one two six complete in the black edition format uh, toyo game one and two doro hidoro one and two this is a manga that i've had quite a few people recommend to me but i've already had it in the collection for a long time very weird, very weird, very messed up, kind of like a punk rock kind of feel. Um, almost like a title that you could see from uh, somebody like Sutomo Nihei, but just a bit more out there. I didn't love it, which is why I haven't bought any more volumes of it, but uh, maybe one day, we'll see. Wandering Island, Volume 1, Daiwar Gelder, the other um, Hiroki Samura work we've seen over here in English. Uh, Nisekoi, 1 to 12. Uh, below that we have Seraph of the End 1 to 6, Real Account 1 to 5, uh, Cross Game 1 to 8 Complete Series, really fun sports manga, Whistle 1 to 8, um, so far it's been a great series, been loving it, uh, fun soccer shonen manga, uh, Ultimo 1 to 5 with uh, Stan Lee on it, I just think that's hilarious, uh, Eye Shield 21 Volumes 1 to 12, and then 13 to 30, I am missing 31 to 37, but uh, yeah, just a fun uh, series, sports manga, uh, about football, believe it or not, American football, which is uh, interesting and a lot of fun, and uh, just a great series, to be completely honest with you. Here is Siren 1-16, to complete manga, surprisingly good, I gotta say, it's been, it was a fun series when I read it a couple years ago, reminds me a lot of Bleach, reminds me a lot of other shonen manga we've seen over the years, but does its own thing as well, so I recommend it if you have the uh, the time. Oparts Hunter 1 to 4, a manga that I want to start very soon, it's a manga that I had in a um, attic for a while and then found it again, put it back down here on the shelf, so it's one that I want to start soon, just uh, haven't yet. Uh, the Drifting Classroom 1 to 11, another very underrated horror manga, a lot of fun. And then Fairy Tale 1 to 3, and then to finish it off, 4, 5, and 6. And that is the collection, guys. That is all of my manga. Quickly go across here, show you guys off one more time uh, the entire collection, just um, kind of a pan over. I am rounding up a bit when I say 1600, but it is very close to that. But uh, yeah, anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. But until next time, I'm Insidious Swede. Take care.